Yo, fam here, co-host of the Tough Conversations podcast, T-U-F-F, Tough Conversations podcast on all platforms, go check it out, but this is the in-depth breakdown of the Joe Button podcast situation. Me, I've been a fan for many years. I was a fan when it was just, when it was the girl and and Rory. So I've been a fan for a long time. I've been following the podcast for a long time. I remember when Maul came on and I said, this is exactly what the podcast needs. You have a, your fan base is 90% men. So we should have more men point of views on this podcast and having that woman's point of view when she wasn't really contributing shit, wasn't the best. So I remember when Ma came in and Ma was fucking great for the fucking podcast. But that part of the shit is over now. Joe fired those niggas on episode 437. I know he uploaded it and deleted it, but I heard the entire episode. So let's get into it. First things first, friendship and business. Do not work out. Friendship and business are not the same thing. Friendship and business is not the wave. It's not the key. It is not cool. It does not work. You can't expect your friend to treat you like a friend when there's business involved. You are my nigga. But once there are contracts once there's money involved, you are no longer my nigga. You are somebody I have dealings with. It may be respectable. It may be respectable, but it's still somebody I have business with. Don't expect your friendship with someone to smooth the way the business is ran. Fuck that. And those niggas getting fired on fucking air is hell fucking hilarious. Joe straight up fired those niggas. And they deserve it. You, I, you know why I work at? I work at Home Depot, nigga. I've been working there five years, right? If I, if I get suspended at the job for a week... They say, hey, famous, your, uh, 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 your, 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 your performance ain't been up to par or I did something wrong at a job and I get suspended for a week. I can't take off four weeks after that and expect to still have a job. I can't expect to still have a job after I take off four weeks. After I thought I only suspended for a week. In any other field, you're fired. But because your friends... You expect not to be. You expect things to go smoothly. And equity. The the whole thing was about ownership. They always, oh, no, 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 man. It's not about money. It's not about money. It's about respect. No, it's about fucking money. You niggas had an inkling that Joe was making some fucking, like, real fucking bread. And y'all was like, damn, we deserve some of that money. I don't know what y'all I don't know what y'all contribute to the fucking podcast. I know y'all niggas sit down. I what I know from y'all niggas that's y'all sit down, talk for a couple hours, and go home. Y'all y'all ain't paying nobody out y'all pocket. So how the fuck y'all want ownership? Y'all ain't paying nobody out y'all pocket. Save our money don't come from you. Parks money don't come from you sitting up in park. Y'all sit up in Park's house. Y'all don't pay Parks to sit in this house for two, three, four, five, six hours. No, but that's my dog. Nah, this is business. Savon don't get no money from you. Alex don't get no money from you. Fucking um, uh, all the other niggas, the cartoon nigga don't get no money from you. None of y'all, nobody that works on the show gets paid from y'all. Y'all don't go in y'all pocket to pay nobody. From what I know, from what from what from what it looks like, if I'm wrong about that, let me know. Let the world know. Say something. But from the outside looking in, y'all niggas don't pay for nothing. Y'all just come to work and y'all go home. 
if something happens, if something happens, it ain't your responsibility. If something happens, him telling Ma, the podcast is none of your business. It's not disrespecting him as a friend. That's just keeping it a hundred. What I do on my podcast is not your business. But I'm going to blame Joe a little for this. Joe gave off the narrative that those niggas were partners. He made it seem like they were partners in the media because he didn't want to belittle those guys. He didn't want to make those guys look small in front of the media. That's why he played it up. All right, though, these are my partners. These are my guys. But no, they just work for you. And what did you bring to the podcast other than sit down and tell cool stories? You know what would have been dope? If Rory started a Duce Palooza podcast, right? All his fucking Duce Palooza homeboys came together and started a fucking podcast and, that could have, and just told all the dopest stories from Duce Palooza. That would have made fucking bank. And that could have been something you own. Something you started. Same thing with same, I don't know too much about fucking Ma, but nigga, like they said on 437, you could have you could have started a sports show. You know what I mean? Sports niggas, you know. You been fights with Brandon Jennings or whoever the fuck that nigga name is. You fucking can call fucking Julius Randle on you got that nigga on speed dial. You know Trevor Reason. You could have started a sports podcast. But no. Wanna know why? Because you niggas is not interested. You niggas are cool while you're there. You niggas ain't cool. Y'all y'all can't carry a whole no conversations. Y'all ain't them niggas. If we being honest, that's why I said it would take a group of niggas to make a successful podcast if it was Rory and the Duce Palooza niggas. Rory can't can't Rory can't do what Joe do. Joe needs somebody to bounce off shit. Like a lot of people. Only only the only the one only one person I can see can sit by itself and just go. You know who that is? The nigga that y'all hate the most. <laughs> it's funny. The nigga y'all hate the most is the only nigga that can sit in front of a camera by himself and entertain thousands of people just talking shit. And that's academics. And y'all hated that nigga. And yeah, academics calling that you niggas workers because it's just the truth. Y'all niggas ain't own the JBP. I ain't own a piece of the Joe Button podcast. Just cause you was doing it for free. Just cause y'all started early and was doing it for free before we even knew any real money came in, don't mean y'all own it. Because oh, I, I didn't hear y'all pay for any equipment. Y'all don't pay y'all don't pay for none of the equipment. None of that shit. What makes y'all think y'all own anything? What makes y'all? What makes you think y'all value was more than what it is? What makes you think your value was more than than just being Joe's friends? At the end of the day, you know why Joe Button wants to do business with academics after all the shit academics has done and said in the media, and people hate him. Even though I fucking love the nigga, that nigga is hilarious, fucking entertaining as shit. And honest, he had his biases, like everybody else's. He used to say, man, man, I don't even fuck with niggas that ain't got no bias. Everybody has a bias. Everybody. Everybody has a bias. So I can't fault him for having a bias, because everybody has one. But he wants to still do business with academics because it's going to make him money. It's good for his network. Imagine if they bring back everyday struggle. 
academics just caught, just got a million dollar podcast from Spotify. They just got millions from Spotify. Millions. He got millions. He just got millions from Spotify for another show. They think he still got a show on the sticks at Complex. Yeah, he fucking stuck. Fucking um. Yeah, he stuck up Complex when Joe left. They needed him. That's what he had to do. Like I said, I can't go to work. I can't get suspended from work for a week. Then return in three weeks and still think I got my job. They're gonna say, what, "Sir, what are you doing here? Your 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 employee number no longer works." You don't work here anymore. Why are you here? It's exactly what they're going to say to me. But since you are friends, like, you feel me? And Joe Biden saying, hey, there was somebody, hey, there was an invite. So you always invite me to your hands. But when the hands was, when it was really invited to the hands, you really want that. I don't know if that's cap or not. But, um. Even though I don't think Rory a tough ass, a tough nigga, I don't think nobody pulled up on Rory to beat his ass. And this is the first time it's being Joe actually address you going to act crib. If one of act security guards shot your fucking car up, because I know he got security because he's rich. Rich niggas got security. And rich and academics probably got a click, got a clean that rucker probably. He could probably he probably carries a gun. Stupid. I'm from the hood, baby. If it was me, I would have kept. I would have went to your fucking house. I don't play that shit. I handle that shit differently, baby. You came to my crib. I'm coming to yours, nigga, nigga. And that nigga was way nicer than I be. Because I'm handling the way you wanted to handle it. He handled it how he see fit. He finna explode, expose you, your relationship, all that shit. He gonna handle it that way. I'm finna handle it like, like a nigga from CC. I'm finna handle it like a nigga from Kara City. I'm finna handle it like a nigga from the Bay. I'm handling it like a man. I'm like a man. I ain't gonna say he handle like a man. I'm handling it like, like me. So... Joe never addressed that publicly because there's nothing you can say. You were wrong. Don't play. Stop playing with people's crib. And Rory, I don't know your background, but you sending somebody to somebody, you sending niggas to somebody's house when you ain't even know that. Everybody knows somebody. Everybody knows somebody. But I am some. Everybody knows somebody. But a nigga like me, when it come down to it, I am somebody. So you couldn't have came to my crib like that. Uh, Ma says it's about respect, but it was about money. What about the accounting? Joe said, if you niggas want to audit me, you niggas just got to go. Look, nigga, I don't know how much them niggas was getting paid. Let's say them niggas getting 150. Let's say them niggas getting 150. 100, 150. Uh, with no responsibilities, I'm getting 100,000 with no responsibilities? Is you dumb or you stupid? Is you fucking dumb? I'm not walking away from that. Yo niggas could have started shows under his network. Hey, need to know is not under Joe Button's network. I don't see need to know under the Joe Button network. You want to know why? Well, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. But the same shit Marl said he don't respect Charlemagne for was Worry about another nigga money. Looks like Rory was doing the same thing. Why is who's why is he getting paid this? 
Why is this girl getting paid that? Rory was doing the same thing. Hmm? So you don't respect you don't respect Rory no more either. We can call out your bias. You niggas fucked up, nigga. If I can make what I make at Home Depot podcast, I would quit right now. I'm not, and I don't even make a lot at my job. But if I can make what I make podcasting, what I do now, the moment my the Tough Conversation podcast is profitable, I quit my job. I'm done. Because the moment I see it's going to go, I'm gone. I just can't put a oh, put a thousand a thousand percent in it that I want to because my podcast isn't paying my bills yet. Hopefully one day it will. But it's not. So I can't it's a hobby now. But it's a fun hobby that I want to turn into a career. And shit, turn into a career in media, be a talk show or something. My name is Famous. Born famous. I was made for this shit. It's just going to take me a little while to get there. But Tough Conversations Podcast. Every fucking Saturday. Tune the fuck in. Y'all know the fucking vibes. Big fame. Big fame. And that's my thoughts on the JBP finally coming to an end. I knew it wasn't going to work. I knew it wasn't going to work. And agree with y'all. Even though he did make it seem like these niggas were partners and they were just workers. I'm talking about to the public. He made it seem like that to the public. He told them niggas to their face, y'all ain't getting ownership of nothing. So, so we must not, so maybe it's not wrong. Maybe, maybe not. What you might think? Signing out. Tough Conversations Podcast.